Welcome back to the next video. This is Rafa set from Rafi Pictures. This is a uh, my Missing Elaneous DVD Collection 2020 edition, which I qu I have quite a few of these now, as lot as my previous video. So, anyways, let's get started. First one is my only Columbia Music Video DVD. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. You may rest in peace. This one's produced by HBO. I'm not gonna show the guy because I don't want to take a little longer. This one's my only live entertainment DVD, but there's something weird about this DVD, which I'll show you in the in a second. Now the case has the live live entertainment casing, but however. The DVD itself is actually the MGM DVD from 2000. So, yeah. I'm still going to keep it nonetheless, but I'm still looking for the, the official live entertainment DVDs sometime. This is my only top tier DVD I have. I got this one at my at the library book sale back in November 2017. By the way, Platoon, I got spin it back in May of 2018. This one I got back in July of 2018. This was in the Rogers video case, even though this is not a former rental. There's no spine of it, but there's the back. This is... It says, sorry, on the case it actually has the double D distribution on the case, but however, the DVD itself is still the front one entertainment DVD from 2001. So I'm probably assuming this is a, a reprint. Next are my two Shout Factory DVDs. had this one since 2000 that either 2011 or 2012 but I'm not sure I think I have this since 2012 yeah this one is pretty scratched too yeah I'm probably gonna have to clean this off soon now this one has a problem here which I'll show you in the, in the minute Yeah, not a bad shape, but I did have a other copy, but it's missing a disc, so thankfully I had this copy instead. Next, my only BSC DVD. This one's brand new factory seal when I got it back in tw November 2015. This one, I believe I got a brand new sealed. Here's my only Sony. This next one's my only Sony Music Entertainment DVD I have. I have not seen Celebrity Deathmatch, but I do like wrestling, so I decided why not to check out. I got, you can tell I got this back at Valley Village back in 2013 because of this sticker. Now the the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten are Mongol Media DVDs. Whoops. This one's brand new factory seal when I got it at my library book sale back in last November. Comes in really slim 
packaging. This thing is a little pain to get it out because of the packaging issue. Yeah, you can see the packaging is not so good because you can see some uh, scratches on it. But that's all right. Here's this one, Manufactured Landscapes. I heard this one looks pretty interesting, so I decided to pick this up. As you can see, this has Bravo and TVO on the back, which is pretty cool. Yeah, this disc is a little pain, so give me a second. This might take a little longer to get it in, so just a second. Now here is a crude awakening, the oil crash. This is a lot of production film. This movie's made in Switzerland. That'll be a little easier. Instead of doing the camera down like this. This might take a little while to get it back in as well, so be a minute. I used to have more Mongol Media DVDs back in 2016, 2017, but I got rid of them. But now I finally got some more of them. This is a STX film. This is a Saban Films movie. I do like uh, some. I do like um, Rob Dirk, which he's the host of MTV's Ridiculousness. I'm probably gonna have to check this one out sometime. This is a Samuel Goldwyn movie. For some reason, there's no Metropole logo on the back for some reason. And not even on the disc either. I might plant probably getting Brooklyn soon. You know I haven't seen it yet. This is another one that's brand new factory seal when I got it. That's on Rise Records. Same with uh, Waiting for Lightning. I know Zach Pictures actually has this DVD. This is a CBS film, released on DVD by Mongol Media. I'm not interested in getting these two. This is my only Mongol Media DVD that comes in a slip cover. And this DVD actually has the Mercedes-Benz commercial at the beginning, which is pretty cool. These two right here, these last two of them I got from my, at my library. This is a MK2 uh, movie.
This I've seen a little bit of this movie and it's okay. You can see the case of it is not the best condition, but this might still work fine. Is that for other movies on DVD by Mongo Media? I'm not know about the lady, but I might interesting check out Take This Waltz because Hertz her got great good actors in the movie. This next one's my only Phase Four Films DVD. I seen this show before and it was pretty good. On the back of the Hans credits, it actually has the CBS Television Studios logo. This DVD actually uses the CBS Paramount Television logo instead. Not gonna show this book because it might take forever. My only NFL DVD I have. And that's it, this video. See you later.